everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica Laverie and it's my first outfit. This is the bikini number one and from now on I'm gonna stop talking and let the bikini do all the work. Starting now! And I forgot to mention but I'll try to find some professional pictures that we took with these bikinis and just put them in the video so you can see what it looked in a photo shoot. If I get to find them, because some of them may be really old. <laughs> Alrighty, bring up the popcorn and let's watch this. Because if you know, this video is gonna be quite longer than my other ones. This swimsuit I wore recently just a few times. It surprisingly still had inside that sticky thing for all the women that get to be a little messy when they try things on. So I had to peel that off. Finally wore it normally so it doesn't bother me. This is a regular fit. The color is something like a zebra print. I don't know if these guys were going for something original like a blue zebra. I've never seen one, have you? Look at this one, black and gold one. See those metal pieces? One in the middle of my breast and some on the sides. That's a secret weapon of this bikini because whenever you go on the sun and these pieces get hot, it burns and it burns badly. So not practical at all. And let me check my armpits. All good, yeah, because we're doing bikini haul and we don't want to show too much of hair, which I shouldn't have because I'm lasered. So, but it's good to check. Now here's a little Spanish flair for you guys. At least I feel a little Spanish when I wear this. Like there's gonna be a bull or something behind a corner trying to destroy the village. And I don't know. Like I feel like I'm gonna dance with this because it has a skirt. The skirt is really cute. The top has these weird long pieces that should be cut. But I don't want to damage it. It's fine. I always try to post with it. Make it look cool. But overall I feel like they were way too generous on the fabric. There is one picture that's not from Spain. When I hear my little secret, whenever I put this on, I feel like, where's my Carlos or Jose or Rodrigo to save me and have a dance with me? Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I have when I wear it. But I love shooting with red. Like anything red looks always good on my skin tone and whatever cut it is, I can make it work. This is the same color, maybe same designer, same brand, whatever, but a different cut if you haven't noticed. This one is a little tighter. You can always adjust the top because it's adjustable, obviously. It looks cool. We shot with it so many times in the recent months. It is just a little tighter, so I have to watch whatever move I make if something's gonna come out or not. Because if you know, my nipples are very curious and they always want to be part of the action. Here's some pictures from Bali. And look, you can make it tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser. But we're gonna go for the middle way. It may look good. Here you see more pictures and the bottoms are actually a nice cut. It's not too small, not too big. Just a little tighter on my body right now. But yeah, the design is just nice and we always get good results with this. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Yay! Here is Secret Swimsuit. It's super, super tight on me right now. Ah, We did shoot beautiful pictures with this, but... Again, this is the low cut that just does not fit me very well. And maybe in the past I was able to make it work. But these days, nah, -uh -uh. the cut is just not something I would go for willingly. The bottoms are cool. I'm wearing those that have a little lace in the on the side. I don't know if you probably don't see it, but oh well. It's all adjustable. Again, if I don't have that strap around my neck, it can still work. But just for the safety of this video, I had to put it on. So don't have me survive for much longer here's a picture and let's go to the next one you may remember this one from my previous video we did a pinup shoot with this because the design fits the airplane theme it has a section maps on it as i mentioned in that video so if I see it up close, you can see that it actually has a little map, which is not going to take you anywhere, but it's supposed to be pretty truthful. So I'll take the word for it, but I would not take it instead of my GPS anywhere. And this one is actually reversible. 
So just like that, I can change it within and blink of an eye. These strings are just, you know, sometimes it's a hassle because there's so many of them and it gets tangled, but I think I prefer the pink side. The white is nice, but maybe not on my skin tone. Another one that kind of put a smile on my face because I have no idea how to wear it. I know you're supposed to probably have it like this, but it would fit either way. It's somewhat like a regular top. I don't know if I would call it swimsuit or if I, you know, you just want to hang by the pool. Not show too much, but still keep it more classy. I think it's cool. It's nice. It just makes me feel like, you know, I can fly away right now somewhere and dance away. I wore this last time in Malaysia. It was fun. We had a lot of fun shooting with these kind of swimsuits. There's another one I had for a long time. This design, guys, it's called Halter Top. And I actually prefer it instead of those stringy bikinis because it gives more support. And I just think it looks better on my body type, personally. Black is always good, but of course, not very suitable for the summer. Here I have a little surprise for you. You may think that this leopard print swimsuit is gonna look cute, right? Well, look at it in person. Of course, material is cute, fabric is a nicely selected fabric, super soft, super nice. However, if I have to keep on adjusting it every time I move, what is nice about that? That's just giving me headache and I don't know. I want to be comfortable in whatever I'm wearing. And if I need to keep on readjusting and moving things around, that's just not going to work on me. Like I mentioned, the fabric is super soft, super nice, but overall the fit is just not for me. One thing I have to tell you about leopard prints though, it always makes me feel like I'm Jane and with no Tarzan. So where is he now? Yeah, where is my Tarzan? Really, if I have a leopard print on, I'm assuming there's gonna be a Tarzan around. Let's change gears and do some polka dot action. This is more of a pin up -y look. We did some pin up shoot with this years back. And yeah, I'm getting tired and we haven't even started or barely started. This would fit better if maybe I put something in to make it more of a push-up effect, but I do not have anything right now. This cut is little, I would say strange, but maybe some people would call it unique. What I would change here is I would do something with the middle part to just give some exaggeration to the decolled area or whatever you call it. Now, next one we have is this one piece white swimsuit and some people would not even call it swimsuit because it barely covers but i still feel like it has way more fabric than most of the swimsuits i'm showing in this video it fits me nicely i do like one pieces even though yeah i struggle with most of them very much but once they fit i like wearing them a lot this one has cute buckles whatever you call it it's like a little hardware that makes it so unique and this one actually don't burn me on the sun so they're nice i do have it in different color maybe i'll show you in a little bit here are some pictures so you can see how it fits and yes this is the black one i have it's the just the same old thing different color i haven't worn this one as much as i did the white one but it fits me the same way I do like the design, I think it's just a little more unique than the other ones, especially with the buckles in the front and I don't know, I think it fits my body nicely. I never even opened these so I don't even know if they work because you can just put it on and off in another way. Let's go for some whitey white action that again does not fit my body anymore but it's just fun to see it these days. Wow, this is crazy tight and I know some of you would say oh my god that looks so hot, that looks so good but try to wear it on my body right now, you would die. This is so uncomfortable and even though it may look good from a certain angle, it's definitely not good for me. And yeah, I forgot the bottoms, so let's put the bottoms on. Now I'm thinking this is gonna look so washed out on the camera because it's not white anymore. Oh my god, I have to bleach it! Now this is some of my favorite little triangles. I'm being sarcastic here because this is again one of those pieces that is not comfortable at all. Because once you move you just have to watch every move you make. Because anything can happen, anything can slip out. And 
if you want to tan and not have tan lines or very minimal, why don't you just tan without any top or any bottom? I don't know what kind of a purpose this serves, really. I would not wear it to the beach or anywhere. For photo shoots, it's nice. We get some nice pictures. But overall, you know, this just barely covers my top. The bottoms were scrunchy, but if you saw, which is a cool fit, but overall, na 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 na. This one goes back with me so many years when I was a little emo kid. Yes, I said emo, E-M-O. Google it if you don't know what it means anymore because, yeah, it's been a long time when it was popular. Look at this. I'm putting my boobs in your face, but I just wanted to show you the little hardware it has. It has a little skulls, which is hard to see in the video, but I tried. I really tried so hard. So here you can see what it looked from the back and overall, I still think it looks nice. Even after so many years, I haven't worn it much and the camera may be doing a little weird effect because it has a little pattern. So maybe somebody's gonna hallucinate after this video, hopefully not. Now let's go back to some one pieces, shall we? Like I mentioned earlier, some of them... Well, most of the one pieces give me a hard time because it's usually very short and I have a longer torso, so it usually doesn't fit. And this one is a good example of that. I have to keep on readjusting it. And even though the skull image is nice, the whole fabric is nice, and we did some beautiful pictures with it and commercial, it, you know, it's just not something I would wear. Even with pants, like some people may, may wear it, it just does not fit my body. Here's another white top that is too small and some people may say, oh, it looks so good on you. Oh my God, look at that cleavage. Yada, yada, yada. I can only imagine those comments, but yeah, it's one of those that you just want to take off right away because it just does not feel very comfortable. And these bottoms obviously don't match, but these are the single ones where I don't have a bra for, so I thought I'm just going to pair it with this. Color is cool, but... Again, where am I going to wear these things? Seriously. This is actually one of my favorites, but I don't know what the stains are from. Did I wash it badly or did I leave some glycerin over it or whatever? This has a little hardware on it too. I love these little accents and the decorations. It makes it look just different and I like how it sparkles. I wouldn't wear it just to go to the pool or anything, but like a nice pool party and some cool place to wear it yeah this is nice i like the attention to the detail and making it shiny and this violet is actually my favorite color so why wouldn't i like it huh i just need to do something with those stains that looks really hideous what is that jeez this is some of the pictures i did this was for the bikers magazine Oh wow, another white one that's supposed to be white, but it's not really white. On the camera now, when I'm looking at the video, it doesn't look that bad. But if you see it in person, wow, it all needs to be bleached. These bottoms obviously don't match, but again, it's one of the singles bottoms that I didn't have a top for. So I just put it on and you're supposed to make a bow out of this, but I'm too lazy. This is some of the pictures we did with this top. It actually looked nice. Yeah pretty pictures but overall no it gives me no support and the white just ah not crazy about it look at this string that's supposed to like DIY do it yourself I wore this in my last video where I made about Houston you can see it there it's up on my channel look what happened Woo! Ta -da! yeah it makes it look a little better but I can't really make a bow out of it it's just like one little noodle. <laughs> I don't know if it's even cute. It should be like a cute bow. So these people, yeah, they should put a little more fabric into their little noodle. These bottoms fit okay. I like the pattern. It's like a country. I don't know. I imagine this country girl that wears shorts and just this top. Okay, time out now for a little bit. This is still the stuff we have to go through. Here I started... Not organizing, but I just, you know, put it so I can count it better. Stuff like this is gonna go to the washer. I'm gonna try to do the bleach, see what happens. 
Alrighty, let me hydrate a little bit and the show continues. As you can see, I have another one of these old Victoria's Secret tops. It's still a beautiful pattern, I must admit. I love it, but I never also got the undies for it. So I was always pairing it with whatever black bottoms I had. These ones, obviously, I would never probably wear, but they were in the bunch, so I had to put them on. They're crazy weird. I don't know. It's just, uh, I hate these little board shorts. Okay, here you can see it up close. It's a cool design, but you know, it just doesn't fit. So what am I going to do with it? I'm rather going bananas here. Here we're looking at the yellow color on the camera. It kind of looks something between yellow and orange, but I always thought this was yellow. Again, granny's panties here. <laughs> it does have this cool thing on the side, but other than that, they're so baggy. I don't know. We still got some nice pictures with it, but the bottom is just kind of funky. Maybe it's for a b bigger butt or something. Something is here. Ah, how to take it off? Oh, it goes from the top. Look at that. Because I can see the pattern through it. Since these have been washed before, these things get kind of messed up. So the texture is not smooth anymore. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But yeah, they're so wobbly and... I don't even know what word to describe, but we don't need them anymore. So without it, it looks way better. I see it's more smoother and nicer. Now let's put on something I never even probably had on. I don't think I ever shot with this thing. It's a nice color, a little different. It even has a scrunchy butt. I don't know if you're gonna see it or not. Yeah, you can see it. So it's kind of cute. Again, no support, nothing, but overall pattern wise, not that bad. I think these are some kind of flowers, or am I hallucinating? I don't even know anymore. But it looks nice. Color is nice. What is coming up next? I'm very curious what the next one is gonna be, really. Oh wow, yes. So this is actually one of my favorites. Like, one of my really all-time favorites. I had this for years, and it's knitted. That's why I like it so much. It's so different and unique. However, when you put this in the water, I think the bottoms get a little baggy. So this is not for swimming. This is just for basically showing off or something. But the top and the bottom is just so different. And even though the color may be a little weird because it blends with my skin, maybe from a distance, it looks like I don't have anything on. It could be in different shades, but... Just the fact that it's knitted, I just love it. I think that's so adorable. This one gives me always a hard time how to put it on. Look at that. That's a high-waisted bottom, but the three sides look almost identical. So let me figure this out. Let's see what I come up with. I shot with some cool pictures. I do like the asymmetrical design. Makes it look different. Even though, yeah. The side may be a little tricky, so I have to watch that. And if the bottoms were way easier to put on, like labeled, for example, hey, this is back, this is the side, this is the right side, that would be so easy. But other than that, they just let me figure it myself, and that can be a tough, tough one. Okay, maybe too much but for YouTube, but this is a cute one. I like it. Again, a little more unique. Not the ordinary triangles. Design like this make me happy. And especially on the side like this where it can hide the tattoo at least a little bit. Because, yeah, I wish it was never there. Another one here in the bunch. And what I'm noticing at first is this thing. And the padding is non-removable. Like, it's sewed in. Wow. Well, if you see it in person, you would notice it has like two circles. Like... Oh, wow, are you breastfeeding or something you have to put stickers on? No, it's something like just a padding that's already in it, which doesn't even promote any support, nothing. So I really don't understand. This design is cool. They probably didn't know what to do with those lines, so they went all crazy. Another one here is my Velvety Velvet. I love this one. Again, I like the texture material. It makes such a big difference when you have something with a different texture than the typical fabric of a swimsuit, which I don't even know what it is. And I'm too lazy to Google right now. The only thing here I would change is the bottoms because they can get a little funky looking on my body. 
That's a picture from Bali. And here I have something called Czech swimsuit. And look at this disaster. It's been washed so many times, so the colors kind of blend in. You're probably not gonna see it on the camera, but on the white strings, it's just all kind of purplish, pinkish. Yeah, it's just dirty, really. The colors blend. What's cool about this is that the flag in the back, if you saw it, it's it's just, yeah, typical like a chick swimsuit when you look from the back. But if you see it from the front, it can pass for anything. It can be whatever, American swimsuit. There was an older picture from a boxing ring. And now here, another thing that makes me feel like I'm a Jane from the jungle. This actually is from Victoria's Secret Collection. I don't know how many years ago, maybe hundreds, maybe from the last century. Again, pattern and overall textile feels so nice and so different but look at this cut am i supposed to wear it like that well maybe if i post with it like that it's okay but wearing it normally i feel like i just grabbed it from a grandma's closet uh i don't know texture is nice like i said but other than that feels a little funky so what is coming next oh look at this so this is an oldie it has that little detail in the front which probably doesn't get hot because it's all plastic i know it looks maybe like a seashell from a distance but then you notice why would the seashell be so big kind of weird yeah weird because it's fake and it's plastic but still we get some good pictures with that too this color i must admit looks cool However, these bottoms, even though I adjusted it multiple times, look at that. It's like I have a big pocket here for something. I don't know. What am I going to put in my back pocket like that? It's like a kangaroo backwards. So this cut, typical, whatever. That's like a typical bikini. When you see bikini, this is what I imagine. And now these miniatures, again, guys love it. Photographers love it. And we women have to just walk with it very carefully because any slip can happen, any step you make. So, and now thinking about it, I don't think I even shot with this one. Hmm, I shot with the other colors, but not this. So I may actually take it to my next shoot and get it over with so this piece can shine. Another one coming up is my favorite red one. I had this one in Hawaii, I remember. It has a different adjusting on the side, which makes it a little more unique. You can tie the front. So again, that's all adjustable. However, it's so slippery, so gotta be careful another cool design here the blue and it has the knitted stitching which makes it so unique i was sharing just my picture with my son brilla so you can see how i spend time on the beach which is almost never we shot with it so many times and it does look nice in the shots but the bottoms i must admit are a little weird and i know i've been saying the word weird so many times during this video and i am trying really hard to think of another synonym of the word that can describe these pieces of wardrobe but i just can't so it's simply weird just like this one a design made by men for women of course because no woman would put another woman through such a hard time of wearing this piece of fabric called bikini oh my goodness this brings me to another pin up piece and I had it recently for a lot of pinup shoots. It is kind of a Betty Page vibe. Maybe Betty Boob, who knows, whatever. It depends how you style it. We got a lot of pictures with this over the past few years. It's again a low cut, which does not make me feel super comfortable. I even had to put this piece on myself because I don't know what happened to the strap that was originally purchased with this. So for better support, I just put it on, trying to see if I can find another picture with that. Well, that was all I could find. Another pinup suit. Yes, this is actually really cute. Look at the bow. Look at the whole polka dot design. I know, granny panties at the bottom, but get over it. It was that era. They wore it for a purpose. Maybe they were too hairy. Maybe they just didn't want to show too much. But it was designed with the purpose in mind. And I do like the color. I think it's cute and suitable for whatever look we're going for another design made by men for women yeah same thing again this is such a trouble to even wear it and of course this is maybe suitable for certain professions or certain occasions but do i like it 
Ah, not so much. Another one, same thing, same deal, just a different color as you can see. They were super generous with the fabric on the nipple area because I feel like I need more, don't you? Also, I know I said this before, but my friends were telling me this is so mucho importante to do. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of the future videos and hit the like button underneath. That actually encourages me to do more videos like this. Let's keep on going. Next, we're going for the orange juice vibe with these long strings that annoy the hell out of me. And that's why I'm just holding it because I know putting it on and off can be such a struggle because these things get tangled and I know in the past it was just driving me nuts but you know what you can make a scarf out of it and now I feel like I should be you know having maybe big sunglasses on and a hat or a scarf and driving a convertible and I'm off to the coast ride feeling glamorous this swimsuit I don't think I've ever took out of the bag seriously I don't think I've ever had it on Look at the strings. If you want to have a funny tan lines, this is the suit you go for. It doesn't give me any support. Maybe that's why I never took it out of the bag. Speaking of generous, look. These guys were super, super generous on the fabric. But don't get confused because I actually did get a magazine cover with the suit on. Even though it does look a little funky, we did have so many great images and we had so much fun shooting this collection so this was actually pretty good and good memories came to mind but here the fabric wow they couldn't be any less of it this is barely covering me this is crazy but i must admit it's creative it's cool just not for my body off to the one piece suits shall we and let's start with the color that i actually love i love anything red so this is one of my favorites and you know why it's also adjustable so anything adjustable for my body is a winner because my torso length really needs something that i can customize and any suit that's customizable on my body is wonderful so this fits me greatly we always have wonderful shots and results with this i also have it in a different color as you can see a black one this gives me an idea you can maybe even wear this as a normal top with some high-waisted whatever pants shorts skirts whatever you have or is it too much oh maybe it's too much i don't know it looks cool though Next I have is this Greek goddess inspired suit or swimsuit, bikini, swimwear, whatever you want to call it. Because of these bottoms designs, look at that. It kind of reminds me of that ancient Greece and the headpiece they wore with those leaves on. I don't know, call me crazy, but I do feel like I just need a white tunic and I can go to Greece right away and I would blend in so easily. So what do we have next? I'm curious myself. Oh, wow. We have this pocket suit, what I would call, because... Okay, so I have to admit this design is nice. The bottoms have a cool fit. It's cute. However, the top part is like a one big freaking pocket. I miss the separation of the breast because when I have it on just like this, it just makes me feel like I have one big boob. It just looks like a pocket for collecting your food when you eat or something. And now we're going pink again with the miniature triangles. Yes, your favorites, I know. But for me, they're just so annoying to wear. For pictures, of course, it's going to look nice. You can make it look super hot, glamorous, yada, da da da. But for normal wear, I don't know. I just, if I ever tan, if I ever tan again, I would just take everything off. Why do I need to have the smallest pieces on me? I hate tan lines. This one is actually pretty nice, but I do have to hold it in a bag because putting it on and off would drive me freaking nuts and there is nobody to help me to zip it or put that clip on. So no, I'm just going to hold it for you. The circle design is nice. It makes the cleavage pop and just hides me well and gives me support while still looking super glamorous and for images this really works off to a sailor vibe next 
Yeah, I said sailor because the stripes remind me of a sailing theme. And maybe it's just me, but I am hallucinating looking at this material and the pattern. Wow, the screen is just driving me nuts. It's like those little brain puzzles. Look at me for 10 seconds and tell me what you see. Well, I see a bunch of stripes just trying to hypnotize me. So off to the next one that doesn't fit me any longer, which is making me feel so beautiful, so fabulous. Oh my God, I cannot even describe how good I feel in these miniature pieces on my body, really feel like a one big sausage in this this one again it's a low cut which is not comfortable for me i know in the past we did so many great images with this but uh no even putting it on that's why i'm not even bothering with the other strap because i know it's gonna be a hassle pattern is cute but that's about it the fit is not good for me any longer and i don't know if i'm just weird if i i don't know i have like finicky needs for my body type but I just know what feels comfortable and what doesn't. Oh, I like this one. This is actually comfy, but let me show you something. Ta-da! Yeah, they did not know when to stop cutting. So they just went all the way up. And the bag is super funny. I cannot even show you. However, we did some magazine cover with this one in black. If I remember correctly, I just couldn't find a picture to upload it. Polka dot is good. One piece is good because it's stretchy enough. However, the whole cut is funny. Where can you really wear it other than photo shoot? Like if I show up at a pool party like this, everybody would be <laughs> giving me a wedgie or something because yeah, that's what it's for probably. In the back, it just calls for the pulling. I don't know. So funny. All right, what's coming up next, Veronica? Show me, show me, show me. I think I uploaded a bunch of pictures next. I shot with this so many times over the years, even just with the top or just with the bottoms. Did some magazine covers with this, did some print work. It's just one of my favorites and really all time favorite images. I took saturated in a Photoshop, but I was super, super dark. And if I stay on the sun long enough, I get dark quickly, but it all bottoms and the top had a chance to shine over the years. It's just so cool to see these old pieces in my wardrobe and memories come back and just seeing the old pictures and how many years it's been since I had it on. Crazy. Time flies, you guys. Seriously. This is just a different bottoms that I wore for some other shots. Again, they're a little different because they have those strings in the back, which I don't even want to tie right now. I don't want to battle with this little tail in the back. But you get the idea. It has like a little corset in the back. It's cool. Different. Another white suit. Yeah, look at this adjusting part. It's just driving me crazy, like always. It may look good from a distance. It doesn't even look like it needs to be bleached. But trust me, I have to bleach it. This one I've never even seen pictures with. And if you need help, call 911, but don't call me. I'm not going to help you with anything. I'm not a nurse or nurse practitioner. So this is just to confuse the hell out of you. This is bottoms that I had nothing to put on with. And other bottoms I found towards the end, but I was too lazy to put it on. Because it's such a small fabric that I just gave up and I don't want to deal with this anymore. You guys, we did it. I have to count how many bikinis I just tried on, but it took literally at least an hour and a half to put everything on. So if I spend one minute on each, yeah, that's about right. I think I have minimum of 40 pieces. Wow, this is more than I expected. So let me count it right now and I'll tell you in a little bit what number I came up with. Can you guess how many? How many do you think? If we don't count the tops and the bottom separately, like those are gonna be the extras. How many pieces do you think I have here? Put it in the comments down below. Maybe you're gonna guess it right. Wow, so this is the damage we did. I have to count how many just brass I have. And this is just the bottoms. But this overall... I don't know what number this is gonna be. But yeah, I'm gonna count it later. And put it back in there. Ooh, my socks. Yeah, I had them on all the time. Been very glamorous. Now my feet are getting cold. Gonna put these on. But you know what? This was kind of interesting to see. 
how many pieces I really have. So let me count it. Now off to the cleaning mission we go. Thank you for coming to my channel and helping me decide what looks good and what doesn't. And really if you like any of those wardrobe pieces that I showed you guys, contact me directly and we can talk details. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, leave a comment down below. You know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. That's like a usual routine that everybody on YouTube should be following, but they don't. So that's why I'm repeating myself so constantly. And it's gonna be a little annoying, but I gotta do it. <laughs> He's watching what's going on outside. But me and Timmy just finished counting those pieces and those single bottoms, I have eight of them. And those top tops without the bottoms, I have seven. And the number we've been all waiting for, the sets I have, Timmy, 45. 45 sets of bikinis. Crazy crazy i'm just gonna relax here with you and watch the cats to me to kind of get my mind off that number <laughs>